Hello again, I'm Steve Lipton, and this is a series of advanced topics to extend my LinkedIn learning course, SAP Business One Reporting and Customization. We're trying to make a printed version of this production report to include the routings on them. This video requires some knowledge of SQL, so if you're rusty on SQL, you might want to check out my course, SAP Business One Reporting and Customization, in the LinkedIn Learning Library. So what we're going to do is going to go up to the top here. I'm going to leave this production order and so that I can see it and use the numbering for it. I'm going to go up here to Tools and go to Queries and go to Query Generator. And let's look at some files first. So I'll put in OWOR here. I'm going to need a couple things here. I'm going to want the doc number and I'm going to want the item code, so I can see what I'm looking at. And with those two, I can now go to the second thing I want, and that's WOR1, and that's my rows down here. So I'm going to go up to here, type WOR1, and that's my rows again. So I'll hit tab, and I'll get my rows. I can get doc entry, and I also want planned quantity and item code and then I'm going to go down here to where and I'm going to set that to the doc num so I'm going to go back up here doc num equals and I'll use the number I have right here 156 so I can look at the case that I want to see with my routing on it now I can go ahead and execute this and there I have a SQL report that shows all of the items here. I'm going to get rid of this for now. And so you can see this. We got the system board, we got the memory chips, we got the printer head, the power supply, and the paper drawer. And it's all listed in the correct order here right for the moment. Now, we've got all that in place. Now, notice what's missing on this list, though, is there's no routing. However, there are stages, and you can add that by adding the stage ID. So I'm going to go up here to the query preview and add that by typing in the top here once I hit edit, t1.stageID. And I can execute that. And there you go. I got my stage ID that I had from before and you can see that again down here going into what they call the route sequence over here and so those are set right now these here can be linked to something in WOR4 so I can add another join to this to get WOR4 into my report so I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and I'm gonna go back to my query generator and I'm gonna add in WOR4 which gives us a couple of more things we're going to look at. We're going to look at the stage ID, the sequence number, and the stage name. And that what has our routing sequence stuff in it. So I can now add this to it, run that, and I have a lot of extra stuff. And as you can see right here with the stage ID and sequence number, we've got some problems here because a lot of these things are repeating. We've got two SBs. We've actually got two of each. Because what it's doing is it's going through the first stage ID and putting everything and the second stage ID. The problem here, and let me go into edit here by activating the edit mode, is that I only have one of these. And there's actually two conditions you need to do. The second condition you need to do is and t one dot stage ID equals T2 stage ID. And so now I want to make sure these stage IDs only when they match for WOR1 and WOR4 are correct. And now if I go ahead and run that, I get what I had before and the stage IDs are now correct. Now that's all fine and good. But if you look over here, I'm going to scoot this down a bit and go back 
to my production order. I actually have another one just like this for a Le Mans 4029 printer in number 155. Okay, now if I go here and put in 155, so I'm looking at a different order, then I go ahead and execute that, I get a very different answer. Okay, and it can't find anything. Now this is a problem and it's the way we are joining these together. It requires that there must be at least one routing for this query to work. We'll either need to add routing data to every production order in the system, which is a problem because a lot of them are legacy and some of them are already closed, or use some other technique known as subqueries to get that report to work. So we're going to start looking at the subqueries in our next video. If you want to know about SQL, Crystal Reports, and more Business One features, I do suggest checking out all my SAP Business One courses in the LinkedIn Learning Library.